This art lesson is sponsored by Paramount Pictures for the movie Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Hey art friends, today we're drawing another character from Sonic the Hedgehog 2, the movie. Who are we drawing? Tails. Tails, I'm really excited. I love this movie so much. What was your favorite part in the movie? My favorite part was when Tails and Sonic were dressed up in their snow gear. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was one of my favorites too. <laughs> I just really liked it when they were wearing their goggles and they kept looking at it. Yeah. <laughs> When you purchase the movie, it also comes with an extra digital short, which I can't wait to watch. Are you ready to draw tails? Yes. All right, let's do it. We hope you're gonna follow along. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use a marker. You also need? Paper and something to color with. Yeah, all right, let's start. Yes. Let's draw tails, nose. We're gonna draw it right in the middle of our paper and we're gonna draw just a little V shape. Then let's draw the top of the nose and connect it. And we can also color in the nose. Let's also draw the mouth. I'm gonna draw a little smile, but I'm also drawing it kind of off to the side. So I'm gonna draw it higher on the left side. Now let's draw a little curve over the nose. We're gonna start here. We're gonna come over like this. And then on the left side, let's draw it curving back up. And then right at the end, we're going to curve back down. This is the start of Tail's cheek. Yes. And then we're going to do the same thing on the right side. We'll curve back up and also back down. Okay, now we're ready to draw Tail's eyes. We're going to draw the big outside oval shape. Let's start over here on the left side and we're going to draw a big oval, we're going to come up like this and then back down. There you go. And then we're going to draw the other side too. We're going to start in the same spot, but on the right side, we're going to draw a curve all the way up to match the left side and then back down. It's already starting to look like tails. <laughs> So cute. <laughs> now let's draw the inside of the eyes. We're going to draw another oval that's really tall. I'm going to come down, touch the cheek, and then back up. But see how we're drawing more of the oval? So on the bigger one, we, we didn't draw the bottom part. Yeah, there you go. And then let's do the same thing on the right eye. We're going to start up at the top, curve down, and then back up, and then connect where we started. Now inside of each of these ovals, we're going to draw a smaller one for the pupil. I'm going to draw about this size around and then connect back up. In this oval, we're going to color in solid black. And then we can do the same thing with the other eye. Draw a big oval or smaller oval inside of the bigger one and then color it in. Now let's draw the fur on the cheeks. We're going to start here on the left side. Let's draw a little zigzag in. And then we're going to draw a bigger zigzag that comes out and back in. And let's draw two more little zigzags below that one. And I'm also coming in, see how it's kind of coming in diagonal. Then we can draw the same thing on the right side, little one. Then I'm going to draw a big one and then maybe two smaller ones. And then we're going to draw the chin to connect the cheeks together. So we're going to draw a curve that comes under like this. And I'm turning my paper sideways so it's a little easier to draw. Now we're ready to draw the top of the head. We're going to start here on the cheek and we're going to draw a curve that comes up. And as we start curving in, we're going to come all the way up to about here and then stop. In the middle of Tell's forehead, there's a lot of hair sticking out. So we're going to start inside and we're gonna draw a curve that comes up and over to the right, and we can stop. And then we're gonna curve back down and in. Let's add two more of those big curves. We're gonna curve out again and then back in. And then another one that comes down like this, and then we're gonna curve back in. Yeah, we did it. Okay, now let's finish the rest of the head. We're gonna start here and imagine it going through the hair. So on yours, you could start right here. So imagine this line going through. I'm gonna do the same thing. Mine kind of comes in a different spot. We're gonna start here, we're gonna come around and then we're gonna come down and then connect to the cheek. 
<laughs> What's our fox missing? Ears. Yeah, ears. It doesn't really look like tails quite yet. Now we need to draw the ear coming out next to the hair. We're going to draw a curve coming up to the left. And then we're going to start at the top and we're going to curve really far down. Let's do the same thing on the right side. We'll start in the same spot, curve up and to the right, and then we're gonna start up at the top and then curve back down and connect down here. Oh, I love how big you drew the ears. Now let's draw the inside. We can start up here at the top and we're gonna draw a curve. Watch this, as it comes down though, I'm gonna get further away so it gets thicker down here at the bottom. And then let's start up at the top again and do the same thing except we're going to come down this way and then curve in. Let's repeat that same step on the right side. Start here, we can curve in and do the same thing on the other side. We did it, we drew Tell's head. And I love that our two drawings don't look exactly the same. They're both turning out awesome. And it's okay if your drawings look different too, because the most important thing is- To have fun. And to- Practice. Practice, remember to practice. Okay, let's keep going. Now let's draw Tell's body. We're gonna draw a big U shape. Well, a kind of a small U shape, actually. We're gonna start here and out of the chin, we're gonna draw a curve coming down, around, and then connect back up. That was really as cute. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then right here, let's draw a zigzag line across the chest for the fur. That's awesome. I love that it's different. Okay, now let's draw the arms. We're gonna draw the left arm coming out this way. And we're also drawing tails gliding. So I'm gonna draw going this way. Let's also draw the right arm at the same time since we're repeating the same steps. Now let's draw the other side of the arm. I'm gonna start in the armpit and we're gonna draw another curve or line that comes out, but gets a little thicker towards the wrist. And we can do the same thing on the side. Now let's draw Tell's gloves. We're gonna draw a curve here that connects both lines and goes past on each side. And then we can draw two shorter lines coming down. This is the end of the glove looks like it's folded. So this is a thicker part on the wrist. Then let's connect those together on each side. And then let's draw the hands and we're gonna draw them coming out like this. We're gonna draw a big sideways U shape coming around and then back in and leave a little space right here. Then we can draw the thumb coming out like this and then back in. Oh, it looks like Tails is wearing gloves, so let's <laughs> draw fingers. I'm gonna draw a little curve for the first finger. And then one more like this. Let's add one more curve in there and that's okay if the little finger looks like it's just barely, you can barely see it. There we go, we got four fingers and a thumb. Okay, let's repeat the same thing over here on the side. We're gonna draw a U shape coming out, curving around and then back in, but leave a little space right here at the end. And then let's draw that thumb coming out again and then connect into the wrist. Now let's add the fingers. We're gonna draw that first curve for the first finger and then two more right next to it. One, and then last one for four fingers. We did it. What should we draw next? The legs. Yeah, definitely. Let's add legs. We're gonna draw a U shape, a skinny U shape coming out this way and then back up. And then let's do the same thing over here for this leg. Those are small legs. They're small legs. We need to add the, they're also bent. <laughs> We're gonna draw the socks next. We're gonna draw a curve that comes around like this and then back in. And the same thing on this side. And we're gonna draw the shoes. And let's draw a bigger U shape that comes out this way, around, and then we're gonna come back in and then connect to the socks.
let's repeat that same shape on the right side. Come down, and we try to make the shoes look the same on both sides. Mm -hmm. There we go. And it's okay <laughs> if they're a little different. We're practicing, right? Yeah. Yeah, it looks perfect. Okay, now let's draw the bottom of the shoes. We're gonna draw it right here and just make the side of the shoe a little thicker. And I'm gonna do the same thing, or the inside of the shoe. Do the same thing on this side. Now let's add the details to the shoes. We're gonna draw the end of the shoe, or the toes. Draw a curve this way, on both sides. And then, right here, we're gonna draw a curve here, and also next to it. And then the same thing over here on the side. We did it, we finished the shoes and also the legs, but what is our tails missing? His tails. Yeah, his tails, <laughs> multiple. How many does he have? Three. No, he doesn't, he doesn't have three. <laughs> yeah, he has two. Okay, we're gonna draw one tail coming out to the left and another one coming out to the right. You could also draw them spinning, but let's just draw them coming out to each side. Let's first start right here on the ear, and we're gonna draw a curve coming out of the ear. Then let's draw a little zigzag for the fur, and we'll draw another curve coming out further. Let's do that one more time. A little zigzag, and then another curve coming out further. Okay, now we're gonna draw this line coming down and connecting into Tail's body. We're gonna start here, and we'll draw a curve coming down further. Then let's draw a little zigzag coming out to the left, come down further. Another one, and we're gonna connect right to the glove right here. So I'm just gonna keep going so you can see where I'm gonna draw. Then let's imagine that line going behind the arm and we'll connect right into the body. That's pretty easy. Yeah. Let's repeat that same step for the other tail. We'll start it here on the ear. We'll draw a little zigzag down, another one out, another one, and one more coming out to the side. And then let's draw the curve coming down with a little zigzag coming out and then come down further and keep going until you connect into the glove. Then we'll imagine it going behind the arm and then connecting into the body. Hadley, we did it, we finished drawing tails. He looks really cool, except we're not completely done. We still need to color him. Yes, this part will fast forward, but at the end you can pause the video to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Give me five. We did it. We finished drawing and coloring tails. He looks so much better all colored in. Yeah, I hope our art friends will pause the video right now to match our same color. We used yellow to color most of the tails. Then we used a darker yellow to add shading. Red for the shoes. And blue for the eyes. Yeah. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing tails. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun. And parents, remember you can purchase Sonic the Hedgehog 2 on digital today. We also want to say thank you to Paramount Pictures for sponsoring this video. We love all of you so much, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.